This is a tour of Star Ranch founded in 2004. I'll start at the top of our main barn. It gets very crowded in here. That is Faded Glory, a ranch pony. That's my first briar. My mom got the blanket and the bridle for him on that Christmas of 2003, I think, or 2004. Okay, continuing. That's one of my stable mates. That's Comet, Trixie, Bubba, his mom Misty, his dad Spears down there. But this is Gwendolyn, her twin sister Grace. Grace had an accident, her two back legs are broken. Uh, that's happened right after when I took her out of the packaging from buying her at that antique store. I never trust in that antique store again. Um, there's an, another stable mate. Um, that one right there is Prince Jupiter. I got him at the same time as Grace. And we call him Prince. That's Spirit. That's Sierra Blanco. She's markless, not even hoof rubs. That's Nairobi. I got him for my birthday this year. Earlier this year. Um, this is Cassidy. And that is Little Betsy. Cassidy has no marks either. That's my spotted one. And a um, little stable mate down there jumping. Stand is gone. Silverado, Flame, a Belgian, and behind there's Dixie Rose. Canyon, who's normally with Oliver. She'll Oliver a minute. They, I got them for Christmas last year. They stand, tend to stick together. That's Gordon. He's a big, um, big stallion. Very chunky. Um, outweighs most of my briars, and he's Roy the Belgian Mold. That's my trackner, Edward. Singapore Junior Starlight when he's in shows. Or, sorry, his name's Donald. Um, going on, Willie and Rebecca. I got them at an um, antique store for together for $50, and they came with a little saddle, bridle, and blankets. And let's see. Here's the paddock. That's Tacona and Angelina Starlight. We call her Bailey, though. Valentine's Sweetheart, Little Rusty Buck Brew. They were my second and third briars. They came together. We call them Rusty of her Valentine. Now, here's our dogs, Twain and Shania. Now, sometimes they tend, they're good ranch dogs, but they tend to get in trouble. Oh. Especially you, Twain. Now, get back to guarding. Okay. Well, here's Delilah and Omad. Omad, um means hope. It's a variation of Omid, and also there's actually a foundation that is called Omid. So, well, um, those two are out the back there are not briars, even though they look like some. Delilah has a lot of marks. She was beat up when I got her. She was at a thrift store. None of those marks are mine. She just had all those marks on her when I got her. Now, this is, Omid's had a couple accidents, shelf accidents. He does not stand up very well. Sometimes he tends to fall over, but uh, like he is right now. Well, anyways, yeah, so I'm thinking about customizing those two. I want to restore Omad because I love his color. So I don't really want to take away that cool star, um, star he also has. Now, here's all my customs. Freddy. No cool little guy. My, one of my first stable mate customs. He was a black Frasian. And this was a paint. Now she is laying down with black and brown. Kind of experiment. It's kind of cool looking, uh, unique. Um, this one right here, El Capitan, as we call him, the captain. He just looks like a captain to me. I don't know. Um, he's an Appaloosa. I got him for Christmas in a kit, and I painted him. He has two brown legs, a white um, leg, and a black. So yeah, he's kind of cool. He has a star and three-colored muzzle. Yeah, me and my dad went to town on this one. My dad helped me out with this one a little bit. The base coats, and he has a little bit white in his mane. So yeah, he's kind of a cool, colorful horse. Very interesting horse. And I use Oliver back there. He's not a custom, but he's just so I can compare my customs to him. Now that's Thunderbolt, my Appaloosa one I painted. He was an ugly Appaloosa. He was brown with, um, he was black with like a white rump and brown spots. So now he went through a stage of white with gold and sparkles. Yeah, not very pretty. Now he's a black with um, gray. He has a stripe. So yeah, he's an awesome custom. Very fierce, good um, herd leader. This is one of my horses. She went from being a black pinto with a really weird mark on her to um, brown with gray, then a bay, now a chestnut. Black hooves and a muzzle. She is sprayed and coated glossy. Actually, most of these ones are. Except for him, he was my first one of my first customs of non-briars, and actually these two were. 
some of my very first, and they're not so pretty. Um, yeah, this is Cloud. Oops. He was already matted. Yeah. He's kind of a neat panto, I guess. But, anyways, and this is my other one. I'm thinking about redoing him. I didn't spray him yet with the special gloss. <laughs> it's actually a really funny trick. Now, this is uh, Appaloosa. She's really pretty. She's gray, and she has this, like, Dalmatian spotted rim. So, yeah, I like her. She only has a gray muzzle. No markings on her. Made her sort of boring that way. Normally, I like to put stars and stripes on my horse's um, face. But this is um, one that I did. He is a Palomino. Very nice golden Palomino. Probably could use him in some shows. Um... He has this blaze, and it's shaped like an arrow. The arrows, um, the point is at his nose, then the base of it's right there, and it kind of fans out like an arrow. So, <clears throat> that's why we call him Arrow. Also, he's pretty super fast. Okay, moving on. She was a, um, Appaloosa. Um, half paint, half Appaloosa with spots on her rump. Now she's just a paint. Her color changed. She is actually a cool medicine hat. As you can see. Yeah, and her name's Ruby. So yeah, she's a cool medicine hat. I like her. She's cool. Okay, and this one I really like out of all my customs. She's all black with little cute white um, socks. Really small socks. And a little dot star on her. And she's really pretty. Um, I'm trying to think what name I want to name her. Um, but she's definitely a keeper. I might make some more like her, and I might sell them, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to yet. Also, those people back there riding non-briars, um, are just watching. That's why I'm able to have all my horses out in the paddock, to make sure they don't run away. And that's supposed to be Twain and Shania's job, if they stop running around and playing with each other. But yeah. So... That concludes our tour of Star Ranch. Um, yeah, it's been running for four years. We have actually tons of other horses that are non-briars, but we didn't bring them out. Oh, and she was one of my very first horses. Um, I got her when I was like four, and she came with two other horses. So yeah, she was kind of special to me. I, I think that's the only non-briar I would really hold on to. So I'm thinking about customizing maybe him. He had an accident. That was my fault that time, and it just snapped. Actually, my friend's horse, she had the same one, and one day she was moving it, and it did the same thing. So I think it was a flaw in that company manufacturer. So I'm thinking about customizing him, like fixing his leg and customizing. I'm not sure how to fix his leg, because it's not like the briars where I can fix them. But yeah, her leg might be fixed, and I might customize her too. So now her and the twin sister, Gwendolyn, might not even be twins anymore. I was thinking of a cool paint color, but... Uh, Maybe not. So yeah, I hope you like this tour. And I do have one Briar Rider. I'm not sure where she went. She's vacationing. Along with um, several other ones that are our owners. Let's see if I can find them. Ooh, I don't think I can. Well, that will be the next part of the tour. In the um, trail, the t attack shop in our trails that we have will be the next tour. So that will be like part two, I guess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And goodbye.